Right. Shall we? But right. Musa. Musa. What's this? It's from Bad Boys. <laughs> Charlene. We're both dog groomers, um, mother and daughter. We're going to give you some information about ourselves now and how we actually got into dog grooming. Um, it was quite a few years ago now, I'd yeah. probably say about 10. Um, so how it all came about is um, Charlene is autistic um and she was doing so many different jobs wasn't you you were trying to you were doing like diff different areas wasn't it to try and work out where you fitted in yeah where you thought you fitted in but it wasn't about you fitting in really no by the time that's what i thought that's we what thought, i thought yes. it was so you'd got into accounting payroll jobs um, customer service, retail, bar work, yeah, <laughs> cleaning. So, um, Charlene wanted to do this herself. She wanted to see if she was able to get into the working world. But, and I'm not going to say unfortunately, because we wouldn't be where we are today, but um, Charlene just couldn't do that. Do you want to say why? I'm not quite sure what you're about to say, so go on. About you doing those different jobs, how you felt, how it didn't work for you. Oh, um... Gosh, as long as I can't really remember now. I remember I would always phone you up crying, saying I can't do this. Yeah, because you used to um, struggle with the... Uh, Communicating with people and um, socialising. Yeah. Oh, when people used to tell me what to do. I can't go with that. Okay, so. I was also in um, the finance world. Very um, fast-paced world. I was quite high up in a company, in positions, but we don't need to go into that. And I could see Charlene was struggling with her... In the adult world, I would say, I suppose, what it's supposed to be. So then we sat down, didn't we, one day, and I said, Charlene, um, we need to look at something completely different. We need to see what it is that you wish to do. And Charlene's always um, loved animals, especially dogs. And that's where you really fitted in. So Charlene is able to, I'm going to say, communicate with dogs better than humans. <laughs> that was a nice way of putting it. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. It's probably the best way, actually. So Charlene said to me, we were just sat down having a conversation, and Charlene said, Mom, I've always wanted to do dog grooming. So I went, OK, let's do that then. So... <laughs> Packed up my, how it went. <laughs> my job that used to earn me an awful lot of money, <laughs> but was very stressful. And I thought, okay, if I don't do something about this now, Charlene's always going to have this problem moving forward. And um, we wanted to keep you active and just keep you going. So that's how we became dog groomers. <laughs> usual story I suppose no but... it's not there's a lot more to it but we don't want to keep going on and on and on because it's not a sad story it's a happy story yeah um there's nothing better than having your own business in my eyes so I can have days off when I want <laughs> I'm gonna go with the good bits and so I'm not constantly being told what to do I think it's usually the other way around, isn't it? You tell me what to do a lot of the time. <laughs> yeah. So, um, we've never made excuses for Charlene's autism and um, Charlene has 
you're just you, aren't you? And that's it. I'm not going to explain anything about that because I don't think that's necessary. You are just you. Um, so it's usually myself that deals with the customers um, yeah. because Charlene gets a bit stuck with communicating sometimes. And that's it. And that's all we need to talk about. And um, hi. My name is Joan. I am Teresa's mum and I'm Charlene's nana. I'm also the tea lady. So hi everybody. Uh, I just want to say a few words that Charlene and Teresa do a brilliant job with the dog grooming. Charlene has always wanted to be a dog groomer. She has tried other jobs but with her being autistic She's found that dog grooming is the thing for her. I'm very, very proud of Charlene because she's found her niche now. Because sometimes with her autism, she finds it difficult to communicate with people. Anybody out there who's got autism or is looking for a different angle to go into the workplace, you can ask us as many questions as you wish. Okay. Also, we have four dogs ourselves. Um, we have a Chow Chow, who's called Bailey. We then have a Cockapoo called Phoenix. And Phoenix is actually here with us today. I've said his name is wagging his tail. <laughs> um, we also have a toy poodle called Darcy. And then we have another toy poodle, which is Darcy's baby, her daughter, called Athena. And we will do a video of um, all of those. One day we're going to do a video of just our dogs going to the breed, going to how they are at home. So... In future videos, you are going to see all of our dogs in the salon. But we're not going to keep saying, well, there's Darcy and there's Athena. You will be able to spot them because they do come to the salon because this is their second home. Okay. I don't think there's ever a day where we don't bring at least one of them. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll have to just look in the background and see which one we've brought to work today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And when it's chaos... That's when uh, Phoenix is here. <laughs> right, okay then. So, bye for now. Um, I hope you like that little bit of information about ourselves. And we'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Athena, Get off. let go of the brush. <laughs> Athena. <laughs> What are you doing? Did she get a mouth on Yeah. <laughs> you can't believe how tiny she is. She's such a rascal, isn't she? We just... <laughs> she's actually not letting go. No, she's going to rip off the bristles. <laughs> <laughs> She's not giving up. I think you're going to have to give up before her now. <laughs>